Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. So welcome to my channel. So, oh, I am currently working on cards, very simple cards, showing you guys the online exclusive DSP One Horse Open Slay. And meaning online exclusive it's not going to be in the catalog it's not in the new mini holiday catalog either so you can only get it by going up online to purchase it so i do want to show you i do have the new catalog look can't show you anything in it but i am doing a giveaway so if you order in the month of september the first 10 customers that is who order from me for 50 dollars, you will receive a box of christmas cards that i have made and a pokey tool so i'm not going to go into any more of that but you must be the first 10 who do because that's all i have supplies for so let's go into what we're going to use we are still using um perfectly plaid set that i pulled out of the retirement shelf that i've kept um we're going to use hoping that your busy year comes together in christmas cheer and north pole delivery i am also thinking of adding back on this card my little santa and sleigh we're going to use real red for our sentiments um, because this has a little bit of red on the door so i'm going to swap out the misty moonlight four by five and a quarter piece for real red and we're still using the craft paper that i found so we have a card base four and a quarter by oh my goodness this is four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half with a piece of very vanilla that's four by five and a quarter for the inside and our envelope so yes i know i made a boo-boo with the top it's gonna be fine um so our real red we want to focus on this right here so we've got to cut this apart so i'm gonna start over here we need this to get down this is where it needs to be at three and three quarters by five um so we're gonna come over to four we'll probably put these on the inside maybe on the envelope so four and a quarter to start turn it this way we got to bring it down a quarter of an inch on this side. I still want some of that green Christmas tree. I like to trim it down a little by little so I don't get too much off of it. So there we have it. Now we need to do a little off at the top. So that's roughly a quarter of an inch. Turn it around and we want it to be at five, which is right there. We might need to take more. Where's my sentiment? North Pole delivery. Will that... Oh, it's still going to fit. So we're going to have plenty of room up top. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to keep these. You guys know I told you we'll probably put that on the envelope. And these would be great little extras. Maybe we'll use those. I'm going to set those aside. But these we're going to keep. This little piece too just because all right we are gonna go ahead and bring in our stamp in pierce mat we are stamping in real red right down here north pole delivery scoot it over here i am gonna test it first just to just sometimes I always test, oh my gosh, it's going to be great. So I'm putting that right here. Like this is Santa Claus's house. It could be, you never know, right? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Where's my reindeer? We need to move that aside for the moment. I have such a mess, you guys, from sitting here playing doing this. And I've got about 15 minutes and i got to run in. Get me dressed because I took a shower and I'm out here in my bathrobe. <laughs> yes, I really am. I'm telling you all my secrets, aren't I? So here's our Santa Claus. The one my husband got me. He surprised me with it because I was like, 
I wanted one so bad when I got back into stamping, and he knows how much I love my Santa. So I love that that's just so, so perfect. So let's get this one. Let's stamp it first. This one. Bring back the real red if I don't dump it on me. Oh, I need one for the envelope, don't I? So we're going to stick it over here a bit so we have room to put those trees with the lights. Gorgeous. Now I need something. <gasps> Let's do ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do ho, ho, ho. Why not? Just something, a little something on our, can you tell I like Christmas? <laughs> Just a little bit, just a little bit. We're going to put ho, ho, ho right here on our envelope. Ta-da! Okay, I'm happy now. We're, we're good. Oh, we're going to do the this in real red, too. Why not? Yes. I am so happy. Love, love, love Christmas. I wish I had more time today to play, but with all the working on my house... I swear it's not gonna, it's gonna be forever before my house gets together. So we're gonna do this little tree. We're gonna take that off. We could fussy cut it, but it's faster just to cut it with the guillotine. And we're gonna put some on our, we're gonna go right like that. We're gonna put that strip on our envelope. This piece is going on this. We have plenty of room. This is about three quarters of an inch. I'm just getting an idea roughly how much glue to put on there. Quick, simple, easy. This paper is so gorgeous, people. It is like... If you are new to paper crafting and you want to make handmade Christmas cards, um, this would be my choice of paper for you because all you need is the paper and some stamps to say Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, whatever you like. This is going to go right there and I'm going to do it just kind of like so. So this one is almost one inch. So let's get it over here. Don't be afraid to put glue on your stuff instead of the paper. I just don't feel like cutting, you know, glue on my scissors. So I just tip it like this so it gets all the way over there. And I really shouldn't cut these with these scissors. There's still glue on them, even though I tried so hard not to. I just used the envelope to butt my scissors edge up. Those give a better cut. These are really having issues today. All right. Don't know why it's having such issue. It's probably just me, not the scissors. Those two little bits, I'm not saving, okay? If you wanna know how much I saved that, I'm not saving. Then I can come in like this if I feel I need a little bit more glue with this little IV bottle type deal. Let's get this card done. Who, who, who is this pretty? This is going to go on our inside. Ooh. Dot, dot. Let's get a good X on there. X marks the spot. I'm going to put that one piece to the back. Can tell people I use that line so I line up my paper. Ugh, you could pop this up on dimensionals. Do we do that? Nope, we're gonna make it flat. I'm kind of trying to do cards here that don't have too much dimension in them. And I do like 60, 70 cards for Christmas, so all the cards I can get, I, I need. I used to make sure I did all the same card. I no longer do that. I enjoy now. Oh, yes. Wait till we get the Wink of Stella on here. 
and I'm going to have just enough time to run in the house, argue with Hank. Hank, it's time to go to football. No, it's not. I'm like, yes, it is. No, it's not. Hank, get that gear on. Full gear. And he'll be like, I can't get my pants up. He's new to the football there. He'll get used to it. This is such a beautiful piece of paper. Okay. Can you tell I get excited? We have to do Santa. He is sparkling with the magic of Christmas. Which, to me, the magic of Christmas is love. It is. It's the love you share with others at this time of the year, being together, gathering, um, remembering that Christ was born this day of Christmas. And um, so that we celebrate, I should say, the birth of Christ. We're going to do all the yellow, make it sparkle. And then we're going to do all those little Christmas lights. <laughs> we're going to do a little bit of the glow here in here. It's just going to bring it together. And you just need to touch those little lights. Just touch them with the Wink of Stella brush. Just the tips. And they do sparkle and shine. It's Christmas time. Not really. It's the middle of summer right now. Oh. All right. Is that not a pretty, pretty little card? Love this. Oh, and look, the inside. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go a little. I have to. It needs all those little lights. My husband would, like, be out there yelling at me. Putting up all those lights. He's like, I put up lights for you every year. But I still put up stuff. <laughs> inside out I do it all so there is my card I hope you guys like it as much as I do because oh this one is so far my very favorite ah. so have a great day I hope that you like this enough to give me a like share or comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't as that helps me out too but more than anything please come back and visit me in my wonderland I appreciate all you do for for my channel for supporting me and allowing me to share my love of paper crafting with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.